I'm Dr. Kathy Kerr at the Edgemont Veterinary Clinic, and I'm here today with my assistant Chelsea and our friend Gus. And today we're going to talk about how to bathe a dog. Probably the most important part of bathing a dog is to make sure that you are ready for the whole process. One of the best things to do before you start is actually to broom them ahead of time. Give them a good brush so that they're not putting lots of extra hair down your sink and make sure that um, you've got any gnats pulled out before you get them wet because they actually get more difficult to take out afterwards. Another thing to consider is to make sure that you've got all of the towels that you're going to need and shampoo, everything at access before you start. And maybe consider a little bit about footing in the bottom of the tub for them as well. We've got a mat in the bottom of the tub here. If you need to, if you don't have something similar at home, you can actually put a towel in the bottom of the tub and soak it down with water before you put your dog in, just so they've got something that they can actually get a little bit of traction on. Another thing that you might want to consider ahead of time is what you're wearing because you're probably going to get very wet. So when you're going to give them a bath, the, the concern I have for most dogs is to make sure that they're safe. So part of that is footing, but part of it is also making sure that sensitive areas aren't exposed to shampoo. That means making good care to make sure that shampoo stays away from eyes and ears, helps prevent water going down in their ears for ear infections, but you really, really don't want soap going into their eyes. That's very uncomfortable for them and won't make their bath period a, a very happy experience for them. So we're going to get Gus a little bit wet. We're going to use a handheld wand. We're gonna start just around his neck to start getting him wet that way. We'll soak him down first. We'll lather him up. If you're using a medicated shampoo, your veterinarian's probably given you instructions on how long that medicated shampoo needs to have time on your pet's skin. Most of them are five or 10 minutes. If that is the case and you need to entertain them while they're in the bath, that's another good thing to have ready in advance. Sometimes that makes a Kong toy, sometimes it's treats, sometimes it's taking a book and reading them a story, but you do need to do something that's gonna keep them entertained because 10 minutes is a really long time if you're just sitting there waiting for shampoo to have contact time. So please be prepared for them. So one of the questions that we frequently get asked is how often should their pets be bathed? And I would say as infrequently as possible, one of the things that happens when you shampoo your dog or cat is you actually remove the natural oils out of their coats. So you do want to minimize how frequently you do that. If they roll around in mud, you're probably better just to be brushing them rather than giving them a bath every time they get muddy. You can certainly rinse off mud out of feet, but you don't need to give them a whole body bath just because they've got mud on their feet. Ideally, you want to give them a bath no more than a couple of times a year, or at least no more frequently than you absolutely have to if the groomers demand it before they get them trimmed. When you go to get started with all your things getting ready, another nice thing to do for your dog is actually to pre-warm the water so that you're not using icy cold water and that first blast isn't a cold one for them. You ready to get going, Gus? You ready? Go. So I'm just starting at the back because it's a little easier for them to tolerate. And I'm just making sure that the water stays a really nice temperature just by keeping my hand in the water with him so that there's no surprises. Gus, you're going to have to back up a little. And that's about as far forward as we're going to go. If he actually needs his face washed, he's actually better to have it done with a face cloth rather than having it done in the bath like this. When you're bathing, you want to make sure that you're getting into all the little crevices. That means down into armpits. It means in between toes. It means tummies and bums. All of the little places that you need to get into crevices. Under time. 
tummies, feet. And also bums. when you're rinsing you want to start at the top down so that you're making sure that you're rinsing everything off as you go. Chelsea, do you want to take that from that side and do that? Once they've had a good bath, you need to dry them off really, really thoroughly and back brushing them after they've been mostly dry and then brushing them probably every 20 minutes or half hour or so for the first hour or two really helps the undercoat dry out so that they don't get skin infections from moisture sitting against their skin for too long. It's really important to get their skin dry as much as it is to get their fur dry. I'm Dr. Kathy Kerr at the Edgemont Veterinary Clinic. Thank you very much for watching the video with Gus and Chelsea, and remember to try and make bath time fun. If you have any questions about how to do an effective bath for your dog, give us a call and we'd be happy to help.